it's Matthew. I'm here on the west coast of Jamaica, just a little outside of Montego Bay in a place called Animal Farm. It's an eco lodge, it's a beautiful property. There's got all kinds of animals, hummingbirds flying all around, fruit trees in the mountains, so quiet, so gorgeous. And we're about to take a tour of the property here. It's an amazing guest house. There's only a few spots here. It's so quiet and so pretty. I'm gonna do a full on tour after. But I got put onto this place by Colin. And Colin, you may know, I've mentioned him before, he actually does all the captions for Rouse Kitchen Channel. So when there is really good translations and captions, that's because it's Colin. If it makes no sense when Mocha's talking or other people, it's because it is YouTube's AI does a horrible job. So massive respect to Colin for helping out with his channel for many years. And we have him to thank for nice clear captions, but the place is actually owned by his uncle. Look, we got peacocks right away here. Didn't even barely get away from the yard. This rooster is doing his impression of a Toronto raccoon. You hanging out in the trash, buddy? Like Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> Kim, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You'll be our guide for the day? I am Kim and I'll be your tour guide here at the Beautiful. Animal Farm. Beautiful. Appreciate it. So it's an eco lodge and I hear a lot of birds, but I see a lot more than birds here too. Yes, we do have more than birds. We have a variety of animals here. We have pigs, we have cow, we have sheep, ah. we have goats, rabbits, guinea pigs, ducks, snake, crocodile. So it's not just birds, but oh. there are also animal here as well. Okay, and there's some bunnies right here. My gosh. Yes, we do. Hey bunnies. And we have some babies. Up there oh, well. no way. And the roosters are not shy. <laughs> well, if we can look in the box there. Oh, yeah. Oh, these guys are so curious. Eh? Hey, guys. They're tiny. This is a mango strop that we have. Ah, uh, yeah. Get the mangoes in. They're an introduced species and a pest, yes, right? They are. Yeah, you see them always on the roads on the here. Roadside. Here is a plant which is called the red ginger, but ah, this yeah. one is a pink. We have them in three colors. We have it in red, pink, and white, but the white is not so familiar around this area. But the pink and the red, most people we use them at, at weddings, parties, mm. any occasions. Those are what we use, the red ginger flowers. Yeah, the red ones I see a lot yes. more than the pink, I think. Yes. And they smell like ginger, but they don't grow actual well, ginger, ginger, right? Ginger, no. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting though. They really smell like ginger when you squeeze them, right? Yes. It's an interesting one. Yeah, it's a real quiet place here. Basically, early in the morning, as you can hear the ducks. Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of ducks. <laughs> How many ducks are there? That's a ton of ducks. That's quite a few of them. These are called the Peking Ducks. Uh -huh. And we have other varieties of ducks. We have the Blue Swedish, we have the Cocky Campbell, we have the Mallard, we have the Ruin Ducks. So it's a whole variety of different types of ducks that we have here. And all ducks get along with other ducks? All appears? ducks get along together. <laughs> Good. And even roosters get along with ducks? Yes. Well, it seems like roosters get along with everyone. With everyone. Maybe they just like food and they're always trying to get everyone's yes. food. Okay. A lot of chickens on the outside yeah because you can't keep everybody inside and especially for the common fowls they don't do well on the inside when they're in cages they don't lay but when they're outside they lay all over the place yeah lots of them too <laughs> oh that's how to make friends easy and for these chickens that are over on this side they don't come over this side oh yeah and the chickens that are over on this side they don't come over this side okay. they don't cross each other's border everyone likes good food <laughs> got the whole squad behind about to show up some of them kind of late though <laughs> So do they lay eggs in specific areas or they... Yes, anywhere. Anywhere. Sometimes you'll be walking even on the concrete here. Yeah. They just lay the eggs. We have to be walking and picking them up. No way. Well, they definitely don't care about people very much. Hey, guys. Okay. All right. Bye, ducks. 
very jungly property. So the common fowl, the smart ones, they're just following us around, yes. knowing that we got the bucket. Yes, for, um, for these birds, what I tell you, um, they can do without this type of feed. Yeah. They, we can eat even coconuts. We can get the coconuts from the tree, yeah. can cut them open and they will eat it. Corn, they can survive, but for the fancy chickens, they can't live without the feed. I see. But for these now, they can live without It's common the fowl, feed. they'll get by with yes. everything, yeah. I've seen how much they love the coconut trash. After yes. you make the coconut milk, coconut, they love yes. it. Anything, Absolutely. even rice, you cook rice and you have leftover, mm -hmm. you can feed them with it. The other chickens, they won't eat it. They really? don't even look at it. No way. So if you get reincarnated as a chicken, you want to be a common chicken, <laughs> easier to live. And their egg is more richer in protein and it's the color of the, um, the egg. It's more next to orange. It's more tasteable. You can fry it, you can boil it. Mm. Any way you prefer to have their eggs. You always get the nicer color, yes. yeah. This is so funny. They're all just <laughs> waiting for it. Even though they can eat everything. Yeah. Like, no, nah, no, nah, we like this stuff. Right, look at that one feather. Look at this. Oh, yes. Those are huge feathers on the feet. But that guy's a common fowl, too? No. How many eggs do you get a day? Well, I get um, up to 60 common fowl eggs wow. a day. This is Molly the cow. Hey Molly. Hello. Molly got to short her food. She's hungry. Alright Molly. And bonus chickens. <laughs> so we had Molly from she was a baby. Oh yeah. Every morning I have to mix her feed just as I would mix the baby feed. <laughs> and I have to feed her with a nipple buckle until she could eat on her own. Really? The mother died. They were in a pasture where they have current wires and the mother gets entangled oh, with it. No. And that's how she died. And then we had Molly from, she was a baby until now. Hey Molly. <laughs> Molly loves attention. Yeah. You can put her food on the ground for her to eat. She don't want it. She wants to get hand fed. Yes. Oh, she's spoiled. Hey, Molly. Oh, yeah, so friendly. Yes, yeah. And this is what the children love to do. Yeah, when they yeah. come, you can just put the feed in their hand yeah. and they just feed her. Got big horns, Molly. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're so strong. Whoa, girl. I don't have any food for you. Molly, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Quick. All right, Molly, looking good. And these guys, you gotta watch your step, yeah, they, eh? They don't, they don't stop eat. They just eat right <laughs> around the clock. Nice. <laughs> All right, so here we have is our biodigester system. So this is where we get our gas to use on the farm from the pig waste. Biogas. Okay, yes. this is the thing that I've I've heard of but never ever seen, seen anywhere. It. Yes. And that's a pig pen up there. So all the waste is come down inside here. Yeah. Which is called the inlet tank. Wow. So when all the waste comes down inside here. Yeah. You can see it's running down. And over here now is where the gas is produced. So this is a sludge and the gas is at the top there. Okay. And the pipeline is at the back. It goes all the way to the house. Yeah. Where the main house, where we are coming from, over there is just the waste. Yeah. And the waste, we use it as fertilizer here on the farm. Okay. So basically the farm, it's an eco-friendly farm. It's a self-sufficient farm because the light we use here on the farm, it's from the sun, which is solar. The water we use on the farm, it's from the river, which is a great river. Yeah. The great river is mainly for rafting, kayaking, and tubing. And that is where we get our water to use on the farm, Whoa. which is a solar pump. We pump it from the river and use here on the farm. So it literally just turns into a sludge at the bottom. Gas yes. gets produced, put into a gas line that you can actually burn, burn and, and yes. use as fuel. So when we get back over there, I'll show you the fridge. That's okay. what we're using from it at this moment. Yeah. Chickens are everywhere. Yeah, here they come. They're leaving piggy area. They're just following like dogs. 
Yeah, it makes you feel really popular having a big crew following you around. Hey, watch out guys, we're walking here. Watch yourself, watch yourself. I right, so another unusual plant, which is called the pustail. Okay. Yes. When we were kids, we used to pick it and we put it at the back of our clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and we just walk and be going like this. Really? It's called pustail. Anything eat these or they just look cool? They just look cool. Okay. <laughs> nope, not interested. No. Nope, not a chance. It's not eatable. <laughs> How's the egg count already? We've only been walking a little six. bit. Six. Six already. We have six already. So inside things here. are going well. And that's a kneesberry. Oh yeah. That's Those a kneesberry. Are... But the black, um, the birds, the bats, around this side, that's what they feed on. So that was super sweet. The little brown yes, fruit. Yes, like a brown fruit. Mm. Yes. The rat bats, that's what they feed on in the night. Yeah. And this one is called the star apple. Oh, this is one of the original trees I was asking Jeff. Yes. Yes, you have them in black skin and you have them in purple skin. So this one is a black skin star apple. As you can look up, you can see some little uh, ones. Yeah. Not quite in season. but No, mm -hmm. everything is in season. So this is not going to be in season until about January or February. Uh before it is in season. Yeah, and Jeff was saying this is one of the original trees on the property, like a lot of the fruit trees he planted, but that's one yes. that was a uh, original. Yes. It was, yeah. yeah, the star apple is a cool one. That's Yes, when you cut the inside of it, yeah. it's shaped like the star. Yeah, I've it's only like... seen it a handful of times actually. Yes. Yeah. It's a really pretty fruit. We normally cut it and use condensed milk and grate some nutmeg oh. and we use it and we call, we call it the matrimony <laughs> yes <laughs> the nutmeg and the milk called matrimony awesome yes <laughs> and this one is another unique fruit which is called the black support tree. oh this is the one colin was telling me about yes this is it see it's a huge tree and to some fruits on it from there. Yeah. But we have to wait until they're well when, when they are fit enough. Because mm. a bird feeding tree, lots of birds love to come. The woodpecker, the black birds, the Jamaican euphonia, those are the type of birds that will feed on it. So when, when they are ripe in the tree, the birds eat it. So for us to get it, we have to wait until they are fit, uh -huh. fit them, put them down to ripe. Otherwise, we're not going to get any from it. That's the one they say is like a chocolate pudding, right? Yes. I wanted to try that so long. Yes, this yeah. is it. Here's the green, green one, sapote. They have that a lot in South America too, I think. The leaves almost look like a ackee leaf almost. Mm -hmm. Here's a little one. Yes. <laughs> hey, buddy. I used to have a pet one, a little guinea pig, when I was a kid. They only live a couple mm -hmm. years. Yeah. Yeah. They're cute little guys, though. <laughs> They've been eating a huge piece. Huge piece of kala, though. Looks good. Guinea chick, yes. Guinea hen, okay. Yes. Is that what guinea hen weed is named after? No, these are guinea fowl. Guinea fowl, guinea that's fowl. it. I've seen those the before, guinea too. Is a plant. Ah, yes. so the guinea hen, I was wondering if it was the plant was named after the fowl or the fowl <laughs> no. named after the plant or what? So these are the quail that you, you have the quail eggs yes, from? Yes, we get the quail eggs from. So four of these birds give you a pound yeah. when it is all quail, mm -hmm. and six of them give you a pound when it is deboned. Ah. So this quail, it is called the Tibetan quail. Mm -hmm. We have another type of quail, which is called a tuxedo, which has the white underneath. You want me to show you? Sure. It's getting loud. So for this one, it's called a tuxedo, yes. because it has the white underneath the yeah. neck. And this one is the original Japanese quail. Mm -hmm. This one, it has the stripes yeah. on it. 
So five of these give you one chicken egg. Jeffrey Sings, just a small business to local hotels yes, and that kind of thing. To so the you hotels that we sell these to the hotels. Nice organic eggs. Wow, yeah, they're so small. These are a delicacy a lot of places, yes, so right? You, yes, yeah. you can boil them, you can pickle them, mm. or you can use them to make punch. Okay. These are called the smallest chickens in the world, which is the Soramas. Uh -huh. They are the smallest, they don't get any bigger. They are fully grown. In some countries, these are what they use to fight. Um, what you call a cock fight. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it around in uh, Indonesia and stuff. They're big into the cock fighting. So yeah, they're tiny. So that's as big as they get. And they weigh like about a quarter pound. <laughs> We call the white sultans, which is one of our raster falls. So you have the white rasters and you have the black rasters. <laughs> and these, they are very aggressive when it reaches certain time. The males, they are very aggressive. Yeah. Sometimes we can't even go inside there to feed no them. No way. It's very unlike rasta. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's one of the roosters there. Yeah. And there we have now is the black raster falls. Okay. Right there. Can Are they the same attitude as the white ones? No, no. <laughs> the white ones are more aggressive uh -huh, yeah. than the black ones. Okay. Yes. So these ones are the chill ones. Yes, they are more calmer to feed them and to deal with. Yeah, okay. Very stylish. I don't know if they look as much like dreads, more like 80s. They look like they're in a new wave band, like Pet Shop Boys or something. Yeah, the guinea. They, they're they wild too, right? Like the Yes, because as I say, most of them, they don't do well in cages. Mm -hmm. But when they're outside, they tend to give you more eggs and stuff. And most people, they use them as watchdog because they're very noisy and they tend to roam. Okay. They just don't stay in one place. They're all over the place, love to dig up yeah. and scratch for things that they don't even know what they're scratching for. <laughs> but that's the purpose of the guinea chicken. Okay. So this is another kind of rastafall. Yes, which is the funky rastafall are the silky chickens. Okay. Most children when they come and see them, they say, oh, watch a dog. Because they look like dogs, but they are not dogs, uh -huh. they are chickens, of course. Are silky the chickens, they have black skin underneath, yes, right? And their meat is Even black, black bones. Yes. So we have another type of black uh, chickens that we have here. You see, like I've seen these in China before and it's a very yes. uh, like well-loved soup. Yes. And the first time I had it, I said, what kind of chicken soup is this? Black. The meat is black. The skin is black. Even Everything the bones. Everything about them is black except yeah. for the eggs. Yeah. Well, the eggs are not black. Wow. So, so that's a silky, silky chicken. chicken. So they're also known as the Rasta chicken. Yeah, in, in Shanghai, I had a whole bunch of different soups that were silky chicken. Yeah, they look cool. Whoa. It almost reminds me of that one penguin that has the kind of yellow hair on it. I can't remember the name of it, but what a cool animal. I can't even see your face. Yeah. You can't see the face. Yeah. Sylvester the snake, okay. which is a Jamaica boa, uh -huh. and we have crocodile Dundee over here, mm. which over is over in the back there. Oh yeah, the there he is. Hey, yes. Crocky. It's a little guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's another black chicken I see over there. Those are the black chicken i am chimani that's a yes. that's indonesian yes yeah i speak a little bit everything of everything about them is black except for the eggs that I'm are chasing. not black so i am that's chicken look at these guys yeah i've seen in indonesia before too whoa take it easy big turkeys my goodness Whoa! We have Billy the sheep. Billy the sheep. And the goat. Oh, hey guys. I love goats. I have a goat in St. Thomas in Yalas. Her name's Kelly. Wow, you guys are super friendly. Hey, 
So Billy is the sheep? Yes. And the goat's name? It's Coco. Coco. Okay. Hey, Billy. Coco is very jealous. She don't want you to feed <laughs> Billy. She oh, yeah. alone wants all the feed. All right, don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Billy, come here, Billy. Here. <laughs> Hey, Billy, 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 come down here. Billy. There you go, Billy. Coco one wants all the attention. Ah, Coco's a star. Maybe over here. There we go. <laughs> nice hair. You look so cool. <laughs> Giant chickens. Whoa! Who was that? Was that the, was that Coco or Billy? I didn't hear. That was Billy making all the racket. So pretty big. Some common chickens. Oh wow! All the guinea ones. It was, yes, it it's, was plenty of them on the outside, and it's kind of hard to keep them on the outside, so we have to cage up some. Wow. But let me tell you, when we put them inside, they know that they were flying out. So each one will say, why is there so many chickens in the yard? Only to know that when I put them inside there, they just fly out and come back outside. Yeah. Billy, why are you so jealous? Coco. <laughs> wow, the guinea ones look so interesting. Yes. So we have another set of varieties of ducks. So I tell you, there's plenty of ducks we have here on the farm. Ducks like rice. And of course you have to have some chickens in there with them, uh -huh. of course. The chickens just hanging around. Yes. And look, Coco. Coco's just flying around. <laughs> Whoa. Different colored eggs. Yes. Whoa, that, that rooster's a beast. Compared to these over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like Noonie? Yeah, the Whoa. No one likes Noonie. Ah, because of the smell. Not, not the fruit anyway. I had the juice the other day, it's pretty good. Okay. Yes, what we do here in Jamaica, we just put them in bags mm -hmm. and just let them drain. And then most people, they will sweet use the honey and sweeten it and have probably a spoon or two mm -hmm. for the day. That's interesting that you guys like the leaves so much. Yeah. Does Billy like it too? Yes, I love it. Whoa, Noonie leaf. Okay. <laughs> one she is getting all the attention. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you later. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> that one is on display. Oh yeah. Those are the males. The males are more colorful than the females. Colors are wild. So the males are the green ones. Mm -hmm. And the females, you can tell the females are the green ones. I don't think I've seen ever a white peacock before. Wow. These are called the yellow golden pheasants. Very cool style, wow. Got the yellow slick back hair, kind of like Donald Trump. <laughs> and a tiger collar. It is kind of Trump hair. Let me show you some more. Okay. Of this one. That one is oh, called wow. the Lady Amherst. So all different types of pheasants. Yes. Where would these be native to? Most of them are from abroad. Yeah. But we get the eggs and we hatch the eggs. And we have them. So that's a lady amers and that's a male. Mm -hmm. And this is a female here. Male always with the, the colorful colors, ones, yeah. yes, to attract the females. Mm -hmm. Wow. These are the ones everybody's afraid of to see them. Oh yeah? Because they're so because, big? Yes, and they are very nosy. My watch, they just pick yeah. it off my hand. And so if anything that is shine, 
They just pick it. If you come say with a knob or anything at all, they just love to pick it from you. Can I come in here too? Yes, you can. Yeah? Okay. Oh, this is cool. With the emus. So these guys are Australian. If you try to take out your phone, they try to come and pick up. Oh, your really? Phone. <laughs> you guys like iPhones? I don't know what to think of me. Come on. This one? Yes, like you... everybody can go inside there to feed them. I'm the only person that can go inside mm. there to feed it. It's very bold coming right yes. by the edge of the cage. Even at the door, when we open the yeah. door, he's right at the door. And if you don't know what you're doing, him just fly up on you. <laughs> Come here, Trump. Come show off your natural hair color. Whoa. <laughs> these one who won't do much harm, but these they have a tendency to just fly upon you. And even those, these guys have the mean claws. These are like raptor dinosaur feet. Like, look at the feet on these guys. That's whoa. Maybe because I'm too tall. He's like, who is this tall <laughs> freak near me? Get away from me. So the smaller one is the male, yeah. and the bigger ones are the female. Oh yeah, there's so many chill areas on the farm. Yes. So this is one. This is really where the play area is for the children. Oh yeah. When we have our school groups, oh. our family, this is where the children will come while the adults are here chilling. And the children are over <laughs> nice. there having their time. You get a lot of school groups coming, I'm guessing, yeah? Yes, we do. And this is Joel's playground. Yeah, what a setting. Just all the mountains everywhere. You know, it's called the Almond. Mm, yeah. So, first time back in the days, we used to gather them and we used to use a stone. And we'll burst them and eat them. But now children don't do these things anymore. Plenty of children don't know of these. Yeah, you see them a lot. Yes. A lot of places. That's Even by the there. beach too. Like yes. Right the beach. Mm -hmm. Plenty. It's almost a, a different kind of almond too than you get in the in the store. In the it's stores. a sort of thinner, yes. different shape one, right? But still so nice. Yes. I mean, just walking, going through the bushes, it's more relaxing, peaceful. You can hear the sound of the animals. You can hear the roaring of the river. Mm -hmm. And you will find one and two small birds flying around in trees because most of these trees are bird feeding trees. Awesome. So this is a herb, it's called a red water grass, we use it for making tea. Mm. It's something easy to catch, all you can do is just break it like this and you just throw it <laughs> and it just take over the whole place. So nice. this is what we did, just a little piece, we just throw it like this. Wow, and it just, and just the whole boom, the whole, the whole hillside right here. I've just been walking a little bit and it's so quiet and calm already. You can, just a few minutes down the hill, you can barely even hear the birds anymore. Yes. Another chill spot. Another chill spot. And this is called Daniel's Den, where most people when they're here, this is where they come to relax, oh, have nice. a meditation. Oh yeah, what a where spot. Where we have the amot there, Whoa. radio books. So it's more of a relaxing meditation area. So this is where you meditate. Zen Dan. I notice it's a lot cooler down here too compared to Mobe. Once yes. you get in the hills even a little bit, it's just yes. that much more comfortable. A little pond with our water lilies and stuff there. You get a lot of nat nature frogs and stuff around here too. Yeah, we have a lot of frogs, but mainly in the night. You'll really you hear them more than you see them. Well, I think you'll see them more than you hear them. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Really? They'll be hopping yes, around everywhere? Yes, they'll be hopping around in the yard, which I'm afraid of frogs. Are you? But <laughs> you'll see plenty of them. Okay, around, cool. But mainly at night, as I say. Yeah. But if you don't come out in the night, you won't see them. So you uh, have to directly be outside to see the frogs. Yeah, I'm the opposite. I love frogs. <laughs> yeah. So cool down here, so... Yeah. Plenty of moss on the trees. Yeah, I love this kind of stuff. 
Some nice Some good more. steps. There's another chill spot. Just be down here. Just listen to the sound mm. of the river. Oh yeah, I can really hear it running now. You can hear it. You can uh. see it. Ooh, it looks like some good swimming spots. And it is so quiet even though the house is just right there. Yes. Brand new coconut tree. Yeah. Just um, starting. Because nobody really wants to climb these tall coconut trees. <laughs> yeah, so it's a big one. They just stay there until they get dry and they just fall from it. Uh -huh. Yep, yeah, I got my hiking boots on. I mean, the trail here is actually so nice with nice concrete steps. You could easily do it in flip-flops. It's not some rugged, rugged trail. Just a nicely organized spot with a handrail too. And I like how the trees have some signs on them because nutmeg yeah. you see around Jamaica a lot, but I don't think I've seen the nutmeg tree. No, I for this nutmeg tree now, it's can't really bear. Because for it to bear, you have to have another nutmeg tree beside of it mm. for it to bear. And you know, nutmeg is something that you would grate. You can put it in your porridge when you're making your porridge, your mm. nail shake, or pudding, anything that you're doing, you can use the nutmeg. Chocolate tea. Chocolate tea, yes. <laughs> Chocolate tea, probably my favorite to put nutmeg in. So this is where we pump the water and use it on the farm from the Great River. Mm. And the Great River is mainly in Anova for rafting, kayaking, and tubing. Oh. <laughs> Duppy pond. pond. Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch out. Watch yourself. I wonder what kind of duppies we're gonna see. Well this is where the rafting would start. Yeah. So as you can see the raft is there. So this is where the captain will come and take the persons and they just go down the stream yeah. for the rafting. Yeah. So many people around this area, this is where they get their um, food. So they do fishing in the river, they catch fishes and they catch even crayfish which they sell to the hotels oh. or other people just for business. For business you get those big so crayfish yes, here? Yes, this is what they get. So they uh, set pots uh. in the river and put bait in it like coconuts and stuff like that and they will catch them inside there. I've caught the little Jenga, but never the big, big never one. Never the <laughs> mm. Are Some people, what they will do, they will just go where they can get them and just put a basket underneath the stones and just catch them like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people now, they set some fancy fish pots into the deep parts yeah. and just leave them there. And then a day or two, they will come back and enjoy it. And then we have plenty inside here. <laughs> I need to try that one day. It's on my <laughs> list of things to do. To, oh. Yeah. Done a lot of tom-tom fishing, but little Jenga, but not the big, big, big crayfish. Yeah, I really want to do that. A lot of banana trees. Yeah. Down here. Someone plant these ones or they just came no, up? They just came, they just came up. <laughs> big. I mean, during every rains and stuff, things from way back up on the river, it will just wash down. Yeah. And come down, so you know, they will stop here and they just stay here and grow huge trees. Wango. Yeah. And you can see the veins on it, which are called strangler fig. Yeah. So it's a fig. It's something that will kill the plant because it keeps wrapping itself right around on it. Back in the days, we used to get some pods. I'm never gonna find any. Could show you that we used to pick them up, bag them up, and we used to use them to feed cows. Goats yeah. will eat them, but mainly the cows that will really eat them. I think I've seen them. They're really big pods. Yes, right? some black, long pods. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there's some bananas right there. Look at that. If you're hungry. We find something, we need some more time, obviously. So the more you're going up on the river, the more it's getting very peaceful, as yeah. you can hear. Oh, you they hear the sound down there. When you come up here now, it's more calmer because you don't have much food and the water is just running off. So yeah, some good swimming right there. Yes. Oh yeah. Right here is a good swimming area. Where do the big 
huge crayfish hide. They're just in any underneath, big rock, like underneath like the stones. just like the little Jenga. Yes. You just got to get lucky. Yes, they're underneath the stones. So this is the great duffel pond. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> It gets long, it goes all the way, maybe long but not wide, right. so it goes all the way there, but it's kind of dry now, plenty of people fishing. Oh yeah? From the, yes. What plenty. are they catching in there? They catch crayfish, oh. and they catch even fish, as you can see, you can see some little movements, mm -hmm. baby ones inside there, oh, and wow. turtles are inside there as good. well. Yeah, it's a good turtle spot. Yeah, that's a stone there, the turtles yeah. always come up. Get some sun. It, yes. Mm -hmm. So why it was called Duffy Pond? Back then my grandmother used to raise cows mm -hmm. and one of her cows fell in there. Oh. And she'd never see the cow again. Mm -hmm. So that is why they call it Duffy Pond. Okay. Yes. It's a good name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so down this side now we used to have well, we still have a playground. So for persons who want to come and just want to chill at the riverside. We have a playground where they'll just make up the fireside and they cook, oh, nice. play the football, swim in the river, stuff like that. Because you know plenty of people want to get out of the town, mm -hmm. of all the horses and buses. And they tend to come in the country area to chill out. This is where they would spend for the whole day. Right. And just enjoy the beauty of here in the country where it's quiet and peaceful. A little river flex? Yes, <laughs> river flex. <laughs> And we have plenty, young, mainly young people that really do stuff like this. We have church groups as well. Oh yeah, it's so wicked with that big bamboo. <laughs> yeah, that's great. A, grong, a guango that's not strangled up yet, that's yeah. good. So the river can get a lot more full and running when you yes, get a really rainy, when, rainy season. When it's rainy season and the rain comes, this whole place is covered. Wow. All you're looking at is just fully brown lake you're looking at. Mm -hmm. So you can find bamboos on both sides, plenty of banana, mm -hmm. banana trees and stuff, guavas. So another one, rosemary, cocoa. Those are stuff you mainly find mm -hmm. at the riverside. Yeah, here. tons of cocoa across the river. Yes. All that, all that there, cocoa. Scratch cocoa or good cocoa? Scratch cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not a good one. No. And persons use those and to cook what you call hog food six out of the 40 acres that we have but all this land space go back it is owned by us just keep it natural, just keep it natural uh, that's yes. awesome and that's important too yes it's a good ratio six. six even six is a huge amount of land though yes it is very much we're talking about 40 40 is just whoa but yeah that tree is crazy it looks like drapes <laughs> all right so we're on our way back up Another way up, other than the steps, just a bit of a hill, just as pretty, tons of ginger, bananas, all kinds of plants everywhere. It is super quiet down here. There's no one, no one around for miles on this side of the river. This is the African tulip tree. So that's the one when you're standing up on the top there and looking down, it has some orange colors. Yeah, the beautiful one's yes, way high way up. Yes, way high. Mm -hmm. So this is it, our African tulip or water pea. Going right out the top of the tree. Yes. I remember I noticed those first time I came to Jamaica doing a hike, like beautiful red, oh, flowers, red flowers way flowers high up on, the, in the top, yes. on the skyline. Yeah, it looks so awesome. Yeah. So these ones aren't nearly as bright, these blooms yeah. when they fall, but you can actually see from the rooms too. Yes, some, you can see them. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Almost back to where we started. And I'm going to do give a full tour of the, of the cabins and stuff tomorrow. Oh, a couple mango hummingbirds just flew by. Yeah. You can hear the hummingbirds. Oh, there's one. Come on, Mango. There you are. Well, that was a doctor bird. I'm going to do a separate video with all the hummingbirds because other than the uh, Rockford uh, Hummingbird Sanctuary, this place has more than I've ever seen anywhere. These are Letty's vegetable garden. Ah. But you can see we have our ganja inside here. Gotta have a bit of that. Yes. We have pepper. But it's mainly these that we have at this present moment inside here. Normally we would have cabbage, mm -hmm. lettuce, pop chow, peas, tomatoes, cucumbers. Those are stuff that we really plant inside here. But due to the weather that we've been having, 
we don't have any of those at this present moment but hopefully for our next year january we'll upgrade back our kitchen garden mm. how come it's blocked off you get too many chickens coming and eating everything yeah the chicken oh lord those are what you call you scents <laughs> it just come scratch out everything you plant in there. <laughs> Every seed. Eat what they see, eat what they don't see. Yeah. So. There's one now, just looking, ready. So here we have our little mini gift shop and museum reception area. Uh -huh. We have our bar. Bar, importance. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have the ladies' rest of over on that side here all right well thanks so much for the tour i'm going to link everything below if you want to check out animal farm no problem at and all yeah i really appreciate it it was a really beautiful okay. place you have thank you very much